What's up everyone, welcome to the Sport Update, my name is Giovanni, benvenuti a tutti, welcome to another Napoli video, I know the last one, I got a lot of uh, negative comments, but I understand, hey, we all have our own opinions, but welcome to this video, Napoli-Milan, a huge Serie A game, a huge game for Napoli after having such a bad game last week against Atalanta, um, and before I start, disclaimer really quick, I will put no footage in the title, so this way none of you are misled, and I won't put a thumbnail, you know, of a of the game or anything like that. I try not to put a goal thumbnail, you know, I just put them celebrating, but nonetheless, um, you won't find any highlights here. This is, It's copyright, you guys. I would love to put up highlights, but it's copyright, and I don't want to get my channel shut down. So, you know, my you know my channel is just based on me giving my insight and just an overview of the match. So, um, if you're all for that, please subscribe. You guys have been killing it with the support. It's been a great, and I really appreciate everything. But if you don't want to see me talking, there's no problem with that. You can just exit the video. I prefer no negative comments, but hey, if you have criticism, that's all right. That that comes with, with the, the ground here. So let's get into this. I thought it was a great game for, for Napoli, especially after turning it around. Um, you know, I, I'm i obviously a Napoli fan, if you can't tell already. Uh, my parents are from Napoli. But um, I'm going to try to be unbiased as possible. Uh, Milan started out, well, they took the lead first. I, I think Napoli started out great. I think they were, you know, very good at the top portion of the field. I think Inlet was great today. Um, besides the stupid fouls that some players committed, I think, you know, I think an ov the overall effort was great, but we started out great. I think, you know, they, they had a, f a few chances uh, that they could have converted on or were created right in the beginning. But then out of nowhere, Milan gets their first chance from Adel Tarap, their first, uh, his first game, his debut for the Serie A after coming from Fulham. Uh, from the Premier League, and he takes the first shot from Milan, and he scores on it. Uh, I don't know if Reyna could have done anything better than that, but I mean, the defense, that was the biggest mistake they, they made all game long, I would say. Um, you know, they just let him keep dribbling. It almost, like, reminded me of Cassano when he scored for Parma, and we lost 1-0. Tarak was literally just dribbling up the field, and he just took a shot, and he, and he hit it. So, I mean, why aren't you tackling him? There's four, or three, three or four defenders around him. Go at him. Tackle him. Get the ball. But they decided not to, and he scored. So he made them pay, and it looked like, you know, now uh, Milan was going to start getting, you know, better, getting an advantage, building up more play, passing it better. Um, Balotelli was, he was kind of a threat. He missed a few chances that he probably should have converted on. But the defense overall was good after the, uh, after that goal from Tarapt. I think, you know, Napoli turned it around very well. That was in the seventh minute from Tarapt, and then the eleventh minute, I believe, for Inler. I'm um, just going to check really quick. He he hits a goal. I think it took a little deflection. He was kind of far out. It was a long-range goal. I mean, most of his goals come from long range anyways. Nonetheless, I think it took a little deflection. But it was a beautiful goal into the top top corner past Abiati, who really was frozen. He didn't know if it was going in or not, and he ties the game. I'm just going to check. That was 11th minutes in, so it was 1-1, and the half ended 1-1. But I mean, after that goal, now they took it back. I think they, they dominated. You know, Milan still... Still created chances. I believe they had like six shots, shots on goal throughout the whole game or so, something like that. But Pepe Reina did well for saving it. But, you know, the first half after the 1-1 tie, you know, Napoli kept getting a lot of chances. Insigne was much better today. I know his last game, I don't remember when it was. I, I think the Lazio game it was. He got booed at Napoli. Um, he was taken off today. I guess he was a little tired or something. But, you know, the fans gave him an up. Innovation. I think he deserved it. He did well. He created a lot of chances. So I'm glad to see that because we needed that from him. Um, Hamsik was so much better this game. Um, you know, he did uh, great. He he was creating some chances. He passed the ball a lot. Uh, he he should have took some more shots. I think he's a little bit hesitant, but he looked like he was quicker today. He looked like he was making sharper pass passes. He had to make the pass to Cajon, who gave Iguain his third goal, which I'll get to in a second. But coming out of the second half. Uh, Napoli picked it up again, and Milan, they, they really put a lot of pressure on Milan. I think that they forced Milan into their own half a lot in the second half, more than the first half. But I think it was really a dominating game for Napoli. Besides the chances, you know, Milan scared Napoli sometimes. Pepe Reina had to come out a lot. He almost messed up with, you know, that in the latter, latter part of the second half. He almost let Balotelli have a wide-open net, but he Balotelli, the ball got, the ball got past him as well. Um, but Reyna really came out, made the stops when he had to, and he made some uh, some saves that he really had to. Otherwise, Milan could have scored more goals. But 56 minute, Higuain scores on a beautiful cross or pass from Inlet through the air. I always say that through the air is when Inlet is the best and when Napoli is the best. I think, you know, over the top balls in the air, that's when they're the best at at creating chances. And he does, and it was onside. Higuain, all he had to do was get his head on it and just head it into the net, and he did 56 minute. 
and then another goal in the 82nd minute as their Napoli kept continuing uh, building up play. Uh, Callejon came on for Insigne, I, I think around 75 minutes in, and uh, Hamsi gets the ball, he passes it to, to Callejon. Callejon was very unselfish, passed it to Higuain, all he had to do was finish it past Abiati, and he did 3-1, and then Napoli was able to, to keep um, that lead and take the, the win 3-1. So overall, like I said before, um, Hamsik was much better, Insigne was much better, Higuain is, is uh, putting up a few good games, he keeps doing that as well, he scored two goals, again, he always scores um, in the biggest games it seems like, and he did again today, and who else was that, oh Gulam, I was very very happy to see Gulam play for, I think Revier was injured, but Gulam played a great game, you know, I didn't even know he takes corner kicks, but he does those as well, and he played fantastic, I think his defense was on point when he had to be, Albiol is still the rock back back there, and you know the the defense. Besides that chance on Tarap, they were able to clear out any danger that Milan forced. I think Napoli had like 15 shots on goal. If I'm checking it right, 54% pos possession, 15 shots on goal after 27 shots. I mean, they were killing it. The offense was great, and I think an overall pretty good dominated game for Napoli. So they won three to one. They had to because Fiorentina beat Atalanta 2-0, and so they're still, I believe, three points clear for that third spot. And, I don't know, we'll see if Roma drops some points tomorrow or Juventus. I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. Nonetheless, great game, a great win, I would say. I hope you guys enjoyed the review or kind of my thoughts. Like I said, I think Benitez needs to run this formation, I mean this lineup more often. Uh, with Callejon as well. Actually, I almost forgot. Three players are out for the next match. Uh, Inlet is out because he got a yellow card. Callejon came in and he, he also has a yellow card. He's going to miss the next, I think, Serie A match. And then I forgot the third player. It might be, um, I don't know if it's it's Albiol. I'm not sure. No, it's not one of the defenders. Uh, maybe Ham Hamsi. I'm not sure. But definitely Inlet and Callejon. I can't really remember the other one. Who picked up yellow card? I can't see. Jorginho. So there it goes. Jorginho. He's, he's the one who, who got the yellow. So we're going to have to probably put in uh, Zemali, Berami, and uh, Insigne, and Mertens will have to play on the wings. So... Anyways, again, thanks for watching this review. Hopefully you guys subscribe and enjoy this review and my little talk about it. I want to hear your comments down below, and I will see you guys later. Please leave a like. Thanks. Peace.